Have you been told that hosting an in-person speaking event or being booked to speak in person is the number one way to grow your business really, really quickly right out of the gates? That's something I was told too, but there may also be some things like hosting an online summit that could be a very, very good strategy. If you are a visionary leader, you have a big message and you want to get your work out to the world. Problem is there are some myths that exist around hosting online summits and summits are those virtual speaker series that host several interviewees and a guest experts to specifically focus on one content area, one topic. Now, summits can feel intimidating. They can feel overwhelming, especially if you're this, you know, creative person who maybe has been distracted while trying to get shit done. So today I'm going to walk you through this tool, five myths about online summits, debunk them, and why I believe summits are still a really fantastic strategy, a growth strategy for every visionary leader on the rise. And when I say growth strategy, I'm going to qualify that in a moment. So yeah, we're going to look at does size really matter? Is it going to be overwhelming? Is it going to be worth it worth your time and your money? And, you know, explore this question as a summit hosting a virtual event. The thing that could actually simplify your job as a CEO, but also amplify your impact. Let's find out. We want to talk about this. And um, if you do feel like you want to host your own event and feel like you want to check it out, you can head to the website and sophiejamets.com slash summit to success because it, it is something I've decided to teach because I believe outing myself that summits are a fantastic strategy. So to introduce myself, Let's see here. So I'm, this is me. I'm on Sophie Dumetz. And the first time I hosted a summit, I grew my list 700%. 700%. I started with almost nothing. And so my had a massive explosion of confidence and list growth. And the second time uh, I hosted a free five day event and added, ended up adding $17,500 US to my uh, income over time from hosting a free event. The thing is, you know, what drives me crazy the most is seeing women who have a really big message and big work and they're just waiting to have their message just right, waiting to be totally ready. And that was me. My first event took me like a year and a half to go from I want to host an event to actually doing it. But, you know, as a big thinking, big hearted entrepreneur, um, waiting and waiting and waiting to share your work and your story until it's polished and perfect. Well, it's really not the best strategy to actually make a difference. We got to stop that shit. So um, a little about me and why you should listen to my advice. So I work as a coach. I'm a women's leadership coach, but I mentor women on their communications and their confidence in media. A lot of it to do with verbal and video presentation. I'm a former reporter. I've worked in print and radio and TV. I've hosted a TV show and I also worked as a senior comms advisor um, and I worked on projects of massive national importance in Canada. My words were heard, seen and read by millions of people across the country. And, you know, I know how crucial a good deadline is to and a sense of urgency to go from dreaming about doing to actually doing. So uh, that's definitely something that a summit can create. And, you know, when a woman is having a bit of a plateau of not fully putting herself out there and um, one of the best ways to get clear, get confident and having the courage to put your work together is to get the support that allows you to feel safe while you're creating an online platform that is going to help broadcast your voice to the world. So this here's the thing. Before you can show up for the world, you have to learn to show up for yourself. And what I found is when I stopped waiting for the perfect moment, perfect opportunity, perfect wording, creating that summit was a fantastic hack to stop self-sabotaging, stop procrastinating, and start to actually do the work that needed to be done to become the change maker version of myself. And it's been the same for clients I've worked with. The more you step into your role as a leader, the more you can lead the change you want to see in your world. So without further ado, let's get into those myths that can stop women from leveraging this great strategy of building an online summit. And you can decide whether this is right for you. Let's dive into the myths. Myth number five, and we're going to count them down here until we get to number one. So myth number five, I will be overwhelmed. Summits are too much 
work. When I get overwhelmed and overworked, and here's the thing, like a lot of women, big ambitious women who have a big ambition, big heart, who really, really want to give their best to their audience, they really falsely believe that it's that they're going to drown drown in all of the details in the marketing, the technology, and they won't be able to pull off hosting the event smoothly. Here's the truth. It's actually the opposite. The toughest part of hosting the event, it's actually, and it's not, it's not hosting the event. It's not the doing, it's actually deciding to do it. So let me say that again, like the toughest part is not about the technology, the details. It's not about, you know, what message you're going to put out there and all that. It's actually deciding that you're the person to do this, because here's the thing, like once they are all in, once they have the right guidance and on what to do and they know what are the tools and they have examples, um, for example, in the Summit to Success program, I give my clients examples of the kind of marketing you need, the kind of legal templates you need, how to write your speaker invitation, what is the technology you need and don't need, then it can be a fast, fun and easy process to pull off. It actually can be a very, um, uh, a great experience and it will help a woman step into this version of herself who is born to lead the change that she wants to see. Example, one of my clients, her name is Selena Delessi. She's a leadership coach. And over the last year, we have worked with her to develop her brand around leading with love. And we initially met over her desire to create and host a tele-summit. It turns out she wasn't ready to do it from right the get-go and first we had to help her bridge her um, message to the to what she's doing now the uh, leading with love it wasn't on the agenda yet but recently she said you know what I'm doing the summit I'm ready and so it, today as I'm recording this we're mid-January it was maybe 10 days ago she said all right I'm doing it I'm doing the summit it's happening now we I gave her the examples uh, we worked on some of her material together and in two and a half weeks for her very first event, it's going to be done and delivered. She's been marketing. She just left me a message two seconds ago um, and she's been marketing her events for only like two and a half days. So almost not very long. Most of the marketing isn't done. And she already has almost 200 people who've registered for the event in a very little amount of time. So yeah, she got the guidance on what needed to happen, but it's really gotten her marketing and her message clear and her ass is in a complete gear. She's getting shit done because she is being the leader of her business and she's showing up for her tribe, for her audience, connecting as a thought leader, as an expert, as a change maker. Um, and it doesn't mean that, you know, sh she might have a little bit of help with some getting details and marketing and technology done, but she's actually doing a lot of it on her own. She's DIYing a whole lot of it. And I did that for myself too. I DIYed a lot of stuff too. And so one of the things I love to do working with clients who have the desire to DIY a little bit of it is be able to demystify, like, here's some tools, like, here's my favorite hack, go do it. So once you have a little bit of guidance and you have the help of someone who's done it before you, it's a lot easier because you don't have to reinvent the wheel. Somebody can show you how to do it. So no, you won't get overwhelmed if you are fully committed to showing up for this project, for this message, for this audience, for the version of you who is here to be a change maker and a leader. Myth number four, I'm not clear enough. I'm not clear enough. My, my messaging, my story, my work are not clear enough for me to host my own event as an expert. And again, like that's complete BS. If you have a strong desire to create an event like this, then the truth is you're going to become clearer about your message, your story, your offers, and even your brand while you build the event. There's a lot of clarity that comes through the doing. It might not be quote unquote perfect, but what, what is that anyway? But the simple act of deciding, so we come back to that decision factor to show up as an expert will help you become one. The simple act of deciding for you to show up as an expert will help you become one. You have to become the expert by choice. And uh, from that perspective, this is when you're going to be open to receive expert mentorship. You're going to be open to start offering your input as an expert more freely. That will show up in the way you ask questions, the way you interview. 
overall you'll see you'll become more purposeful and ask new questions questions from deciding to do this, to give your voice enough importance that it deserves its own platform. Your message is going to be crisper as a result. And that is what will help your audience resonate with you when you can share your story with authenticity in the context of these interviews. So no, you know, you don't need your messaging, your work to be clearer all the time. Decide to host the event you feel called to host and you will become clear about your marketing. Again, this is something where I will give you examples of how to become clear, the way to name your programs, the way to write your emails and to name even your interviews and tease about them so people show up. But in that clarification process for the event, you will become clearer as a messenger too. Myth number three, it won't be worth the time, the money, nobody's gonna show, show up. Crickets, oh no. You know what, like when a summit a virtual speaking event is done right and also leverage and you have the right kind of strategic guidance up front, you can actually get an amazing return on your investment of your time and of your money. You will make it everybody's um, worthwhile for everyone who participates, whether it's you as the speaker and the organizer or also the people who are participating with you and your audience. The thing is, once you decide to do this, you're going to meet this version of you who's like the super badass, the person who just gets shit done and how knows how to make everything worth her time and money. You're going to know, you're going to have inspired ideas about how to turn these people who are coming into your world into um, prospects who are excited to work with you. A lot of the courage, clarity and confidence comes when you build it, not before. The thing is, like, if you don't believe me that the ROI can be good, I got to remind you of this amazing statistic, this fact. My list grew 700%. It was actually more than that. I looked it up. It's like 735% when I hosted my very first speaker series. I had been holding off from doing this for a long time. And finally, when I did it in a short amount of time, my message, this amazing summit, ended up going out to a very large population all over the world. Many of them said, yes, I want to hear more about this. And then the second time I hosted an event, I ended up making seven and a half thousand dollars US from a free event. Both of those were free events. I did monetize in different ways. And that's part of the leveraging. Was it worth my time? Absolutely. One of the biggest wins, though, that I got from hosting these events was realizing I could do it was realizing I didn't have to be perfect. I didn't have to wait longer. I could just do it. And it's going to be the same for you. So we're going to go to myth number two. I won't be good enough to, you know, I'll mess things up. I won't be good enough to host amazing interviews. I'll maybe I'll end up burning bridges with influencers instead of building them. It, is this, this is a mindset problem. It really is a mindset problem. It's a fear of failure, but also fear of success. And uh, with the right kind of guidance while we're doing the creating, you're going to learn to do things like networking a little bit fiercely, fearlessly, starting to ask fearlessly in a way that is empowering and inspiring to both you and the people who receive the invitation. And plus, um, since, you know, there's a lot of to do in terms of mastering how you deliver your content on camera and also with your voice, you will um, become better friends with these influential people. And you know, they'll, they'll start to be your colleagues, not just people you look up to. In fact, part of the secret and the magic that I like to include in what I teach in the Summit to Success School and with private clients is that when you do, do you, you can't mess things up. So we need to find the marketing, the messaging and the angle that is going to make your summit a resounding su success for everyone. And it has to align with who you are, not the version you've been, but who you are, the version of you who truly is a visionary leader, a change maker. Myth number one, my list is too small. I need a bigger list to host a successful summit. Look, even with a small list, you can get awesome partners to promote for you if you have a bitchin' idea and you know how to ask. So what do I mean by bitching idea? Coming back to the positioning, to having a unique sale, selling proposition for what you're creating and why it's amazing and why they need them. You need to know this and you need to decide on your event goal. You need, to, and that is gonna help to align all your actions and expectations. Um, you know, 
when I started out and I hosted the Secrets of Game Changing Parents event that grew my list by so much, I had one collaborator who was somebody who was quote unquote out of my reach and he ended up emailing 85,000 people to promote the event because it had an amazing, unique selling proposition. It was an amazing event that he believed in the message and he believed in the content and he wanted to help this message share more people. It never was about my list size. Some people will say no because your list is too small and they won't want to work with you. Well, perhaps they're not the ideal partners and that's all it is. But it is absolutely doable. You can grow your reach even with a small list, but it has to be the goal has to be not just I'm going to grow my list. It has to be a transformational event that will really shift the perspective in the, of some of the people in your own audience and in the audiences of your ideal partners. So here's the good news. A summit doesn't have to be a giant make work project. That's a tech nightmare and that leads nowhere. It doesn't. Even if you've been inconsistent in showing up for yourself and showing up online, you still can book great speakers who want to share the spotlight with you and also help to grow your reach because it's not about your reach. It's about the messages reach. You need an unignorable platform. You need an unignorable positioning and message. The secret is all in that planning and positioning your event. So it is irresistible to partners and also to the audience. Deciding to host your own event really can help to get your marketing clear, get your ass in gear and help you connect you to those people who you look up to, those influencers, and it will grow your confidence, audience and income. Side note, are you going to get some no's? Yes. You might have to invite 50 people to get the 25 you want. That's a possibility, but it's the same thing when you do um, sales and invitations to parties. Some people can come and others can't. It can be a fun, fast and easy project to focus your energy on and it will be super rewarding, especially when you focus on making your content go farther after the event. This is where a lot of people won't let you think about ways to you can leverage your content and to start to get heard across various platforms. So I want to show you how to do that, how to think through those pieces and leverage the heck out of everything you create with the event. And that is the key. So are you ready to decide to do this for yourself and really step into your role as a change maker and start to host your own virtual event? Look, it can take a while to build a branded platform. It's not an overnight process, but you can absolutely create an epic experience for yourself, for your true tribe, and also for the clients, not I mean the clients, for the collaborators whom you get to interview, the experts, by hosting your own virtual summit. It's not as complicated as people say, but you do need some guidance. If getting known with your voice is on your list, I really recommend you dive in and decide to step into your life's leading role and create a speaker focused event right now online. So let's do it together. Six weeks to done from idea to done. Remember, I took my summit from idea to done in two and a half weeks. And my client Selena is in the process of doing that as well on her very first event with my guidance. So the summit to success school is a six week course to help you build brand market launch and leverage your online global speaking event. And you can go check out the page details right away, but I'm going to walk you through the core details right now. And you can choose to join this program if you're ready to create your own virtual speaker platform. So here's what we'll do. The first four weeks is about getting you going, deciding on your specific hook, that unique positioning for your message and the way you're going to design and craft the event. There's going to be elements you include or exclude from your own event that will be unique to your market and the positioning you're choosing to use. You're also going to create your marketing message and your branding. What do you need to have as visual and text elements to actually get your brand to stand out? Um, you will we'll create must have documents, invites, agreements, checklist with the examples and guidance that I'm going to give you and identify your speakers. You're going to confirm who they are, send your invitations, get the legal docs. So there'll be some logistics that will happen. 
but because I have done this several times, I can show you exactly which tools to use, which ones to avoid, and what systems you need to get this done fast and efficiently. The ins and outs of interviewing and hosting. So we're gonna go through a little bit of how do you host an interview so that it, it feels like a high value engaged event for your audience, but then your expert feels super supported and loved and welcome on your platform as well. You're gonna learn also what to do about recording and post-processing your interviews. So depending if you're doing audio or video, that's gonna be different aspects of what needs to be done. And if you're a DIY person, it is possible for you to do some of this on your own. If you have a team, it is completely doable to also hire people to help you do this stuff. So that's a personal choice depending on how fast you wanna get through the uh, post-processing. You will confirm your schedule and the front end and back end marketing. Front end marketing is what everybody else sees. Back end marketing is what happens once people are in your event. So once they register, what happens? You need to have that clear. So we will talk about the entire customer journey of your tribe when they hear about you to all the way to when the event is done, what happens to them next. We will dis demystify the big, hairy, scary technology and all the details and the scheduling and identify whatever are the easiest solutions for you. Look, like when I started my business, I said I need to outsource my left brain because I was so afraid of the technology. I felt so buried by the details, but you know, I've made the mindset shift that I get to feel empowered around some of these tools and this technology. I get to do this because I get to share my voice with the world and you get to do it too. Making friends with whatever scares you is a really great way to feel more empowered and allow you to lead with more heart and confidence. Weeks five and six, we're going to be promoting and delivering your event. Um, you will deliver it by, you know, uh, the, the chosen method of delivery. You will build your audience at that time. Your see your list is going to grow as well. You're going to be engaging this new audience in your chosen ways. You will offer next steps. There's going to be innovative methods of promoting and getting the word out about your event that we will discuss and it will be specific to what you choose to do again I don't want to teach you how to just create another summit I'm going to teach you how to create an event that really stands out from the other ones so that you can have something that is um, standing out because you're creating an experience for your audience and that's what people are after they want experiential events that help them transform and implement um, what they're learning and what they're hearing during uh, your your speaker series and so yeah you're going to identify as well and choose one strategy to leverage your content so i'm saying one strategy because it's easy at this point to say i'm going to do and then have a giant shopping list of things you're going to do so we're going to look at which is the strategy you want to choose to leverage your content beyond the event so now during this program we won't be doing all the leveraging work but you're going to identify how to leverage so you're going to leave the event with a plan you're not going to leave this course feeling like oh i don't know what's next no you're gonna know what's next and that's the beauty of this program so you can go check out um ansafidumets.com slash summits summit to success to enroll so what else is included I've got a must have resource library of swipe files and maps and examples that I created along the way for my own events and that I've since polished and improved for my clients. So examples of different speaking invitations um, for different kinds of speak speakers who you, you're reaching out to, legal documents for your speakers, different checklists. We have images and videos of what you need to produce, how do they need to look, um, an example of your promotional material, your swipe files, a web page. I even have a web page template that is available if you choose to use your own website and host host the content there um, so that's a bonus that I'm willing to give the person who wants it um, tool library and that's by the way the exact template that I used to deliver my last summit which en ended up generating seven and a half thousand dollars pretty cool so tool library so what tech and beyond to make this hack happen like what do you need and what do you not need um, I'm not gonna give you stuff you don't need but I like to give options so that you can choose what feels right for you and plus 
we're going to have an exclusive community um, for everybody in this group to answer all your questions, review your, ma your material along the way. And this is where you share your marketing material and videos. And occasionally, you know, if you need me to model how to deliver your material, I will do that. I will pretend to be you and speak your content in the way that you can um, put it out into the world. And this can really help accelerate how clear you get on the way you need to present your message. And that's something I've done with my private clients and it can really help them find the words that felt like they were theirs, but just hadn't quite named yet. All right. And plus I'm including a VIP one-on-one -on -one strategy session. So this is when we're going to zero in on your message, your marketing together and make your event a massive success. So that's the point where you get my brain on your project and we will identify ways to structure your event so that it really is a perfect fit for your audience and for you. That is, you know, it's $497 value. It's probably way more than that. That's just what I put on here because you will get this unique selling proposition out of it like this unique angle where people go like wow that's really cool I haven't seen that done before and that's what you want so the investment for the program for the six weeks including the one-on-one -on -one session is either 997 US dollars paid up front or three payments of 397 and you can um, go to the website and choose your payment option or if you're watching you have the PDF of this offer you can click on the buttons and simply choose the payment option that's going to take you to there will be a pop-up you enter your regular details plop them in um, and it will then send you a confirmation email saying that you've enrolled in the class. Once you're enrolled in the class, here's what will happen. You will receive a confirmation email of your payment. At that time, you'll also receive an email either within the first about 24 hours telling you, okay, welcome into the program. This is how you book your strategy session. That is the first thing you're going to want to do because we'll want to zero in on what your event is, the timelines and the marketing positioning and strategy that you need to get, get started on. This will fuel massive fire under in your heart, in your belly, under your butt. You're going to get so excited about what we come up with together. So that's the first thing that you get to do and you'll have a chance to book yourself in right away so that there is no waiting. You get to start immediately. Um, during the enrollment period, you won't be receiving any of the lessons. So there are four lessons. There's a weekly lesson every week for the whole six weeks, uh, depending on where we're at in the course curriculum. I'm just going to go back here. Um, so you're going to get weekly lessons, but we also have a 90 minute session each week to work together on your content. So you really get massive support. You will get this done. I'm making space in my day and in your day to get this done where we can co-create and co-work your on your material. Um, and again, five weeks, five and six, again, you're going to get some lessons each week as well as work time to co-create and co-work. Remember you have access to the forum, um, this, the exclusive community to answer all your questions. You're going to be able to put your material there and I'll review it for you. How freaking cool is that? There will be no guessing. You will really just have answers and action. Plus one of the benefits that I'm maybe not highlighting in these slides here is you're going to be with other women who are doing the exact same thing. Like that's a massive momentum builder. You're going to be doing the same thing at the same time. It's highly possible. Some of you will want to interview each other. Some of you will want to co-create and join venture together. That will happen. It's a matter of making one brave decision to do this for yourself and your message and your work right now. Are you willing to just say yes to creating finally the platform you're meant to be known for? You know, it's about, and the fastest way to be honest is really by doing an online summit. It is the fastest way to see, to create an umbrella project that allows all the small details to fall into place and for you to step into the version of yourself who is clear, confident, on fire, and shows up and is purposeful each and every single day. So um, that's what I have for you. So remember like five myths that we have debunked. Um, oh, and lastly, actually, I want to say if you prefer a private experience, I have a very, very small amount of spots to do this kind of work one on one. And you can um, go to my website ansafijamets.com slash discovery session or click on the PDF link and you can apply for a session. Um, you know, just to recap, like we went through some of these myths and 
um, online summits debunking them like they're not dead they're still an amazing growth strategy and to go back to this growth strategy ideas i talked about at the beginning and which i think you will understand now they're a growth strategy for your business but also for you you're going to grow into the person you're meant to be so i invite you to go to the program now and enroll into the program we will we are starting very soon and um we will have an amazing experience working together on your event and getting you to finally fully build that platform that you've wanted and no longer procrastinate getting it done if that's been your problem or feel undecided about how to do it or what the topic is thank you so much for being here i'm ansafi jumetz and uh go check out my website ansafijumetz.com slash summit to success to enroll in the program it's an amazing experience to work together on your content um, and as you can see, you know, getting to clarity and confidence doesn't have to be a very, very long process. It's a matter of choosing what feels the easiest, the juiciest and the most empowering and, and powerful for you and your messaging or brand and business right now. And it's about, you know, connecting with the version of you you want to be. So if your future self is leading events like this, then why not become her now? Thanks again. And I'll talk to you soon.